hey what's up everyone this is nan choudhry from one shot productions today's story is based on a metal text effect so let's get started go to photoshop go to file new for simply press control plus n from your keyboard the width is 120 the height is 1080 pixels and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and the background contents are white we will name this as metal sorry metal hit ok now we need a background color so we will click on this uh, cube box and this is a foreground color box so we will give it a color of 3 3 2 2 and 2 2 but i don't know what this color is called but i am using this color so press alt plus backspace from your keyboard to fill it with uh, to fill it this color and now we will use a text press t to call up your text tool now select a text great now click on this arrow to change its color okay so i am using a caviar dream regular font you can download it from the font.com or this font is included in project file the link is given in the description bar now we will proceed to the next step so we as you know we have selected this the size is 260.3 pt the uh, type is smooth now check mark really great now as we know we want to center this so press ctrl a from your keyboard by selecting your move tool click on this second icon and then from the last to second last icon great now press ctrl d to deselect that now we will create a new layer name it as metal now we will fill it with the black color so click again on this black uh, white box this is a foreground box so we will change its color to black now press R plus backspace and we will reduce its opacity to about 90% now we will go to filter render lens layer ok so for the settings the lens type is 50 to 300 mm per zoom and the brightness should be about 1110 great now we will set it up it looks perfect so i think it looks perfect about right here so hit ok really nice now press alt control and take your cursor between these two layers uh, metal and the text layer and give it a click it will mask this on text layer so now we will select the text layer and we will go to effects and give it some blending option first of all we need to have some blending option on this layer ok so we will give you some drop shadows for shadows the distance should be about 4 pixels and the size should be about 3 much better now we will give it some bevel and emboss so everything is as it is but we will change the size to about 0 and the altitude should be about 65 degrees nice hit ok ok so now we will again uh, decorate some background to make it interesting so double click on this lock and then double click this layer name it as bg as background so we will go to filter render and lens flare so here we will something like that we will just reduce its uh, brightness to about 104 i think okay so and the size and the angle should be changed for a little bit great now hit okay go to filter blur and gaussian blur the radius is 50.0 hit ok now as you know it is so bright it so we will go to 
image adjustment and hui saturations for shortcut press ctrl plus u and we will correct some colors we will reduce its lightness to about uh, 18 percent minus 18 hit ok now we have to create some shadows with actions for this we need a large room so go to image canvas size for shortcut press alt ctrl plus c and we will click on this uh, arrow down and the center one and then we will change inches to pixels and we will double the height just only height 1080 plus 1080 is 2160 we will just double this height not this width so hit ok so the height is doubled as you can see the canvas is uh, doubled so now we will create a new layer and name it as shadows and we will fill it with black color so press ctrl and click on this T it will select this text and press alt plus backspace to fill it with black color press ctrl D to deselect and check is it filled with or not ok so it is filled with black color so now we are ready for creating some shadows so go to windows and actions we will create new action so we click uh, we will click on this page so name it as shadows action okay so click on record you can see the red button is highlighted it means that we are recording now so we are ready to start press ctrl j to copy this layer now press ctrl t to get some setting now press shift and click on this anchor point and pick and drag it right above on the top of this document great now we will change its height to about 100 to 100.2% and same we will change its width also to 100.2% great now stop recording what okay so click on this check mark and then I click on this stop recording button great now I will show you what's going on here so click on this play button it will copy again and again and make its copies and click until you get your choice shadow so I think it will look like awesome right here so close it up and press shift and select all of these shadow layers and press ctrl plus E to merge them in a single layer now go to filter blur and radial blur the amount is 3 the blur method is zoom and the quality should be best and drag it on the top and like this now hit ok it's proceeding and great so it's uh, about to done but we don't need these shadows you can see that it's on top so press ctrl T and press shift again and we will pick and drag this anchor point again on the top of this document and now zoom it in to check what's going on here and press ctrl oh sorry press shift alt and click on this uh, and resize it it looks perfect I think it's perfect here so click on this check mark and we have done this in using arrow keys for adjusting this it looks best come on okay so it looks really brilliant here nice 
so as you can see this is look like some soft background but we will change it give it some noise so go to filter noise add noise and the amount is 2.5 percent the distribution is Gaussian monochromatic check it okay now press C from your keyboard to collect your crop tool and click the top and drag it down and it will lock automatically on your background selected background now press on this check mark great so we have done that thank you for watching this video please do comment subscribe to our channel see you next tutorial take care